Hey guys, welcome to TechnoSpot.net. Uh, today I'll show you the SkyDrive installation, which is pretty simple, but for new users it might be you know, kind of clumsy. And uh, for existing users, they already know. And I'll also show you how to uh, integrate, I mean, access your computer from your SkyDrive. So that's the software installation. So once you download the application and start installing, that's the usual one. But what is uh, interesting to know is uh, you need to choose your SkyDrive uh, folder location very nicely. So do not put on your C drive where your uh, Windows installation is already there. So don't don't use that. Select something else. Select some other drive and you know point it out there. Probably even your Dropbox account you can do that. You can create a SkyDrive folder inside that. That will work also. No issues in that. So turn that. Once you say I'm done, it will automatically start downloading files and create folders and everything possible. And it works exactly as Dropbox, but there are not many features that are still not implemented. So you don't have to worry much about that, as of now at least. In the first version, probably you'll see improvement in the next version. So that's what you're seeing is the, the folders getting created. I'm just doing a comparison side by side on how the folders get downloading and other stuff. Overall SkyDrive application is nice, I mean for this revision, but there are many features which Dropbox user will miss. But if you're an avid user of SkyDrive, this is a major change for them. Because now you can actually browse it on your Windows Explorer instead of, you know, using a third party application like Gladiant and all those stuff. So once done that, you're all set and drop any file and you can upload it to your SkyDrive. Any file you delete from there gets deleted from here also. And the document support is very nice. Any file which you upload here, it gets there. So now we'll tell you how do you access your PC. So once you have installed your software, the PC automatically gets listed there. And when you try to access it for the first time, it will ask you for some authorization code over there, which is sent across to your mobile. So that's kind of nice security feature. So if anybody has access to your SkyDrive account, doesn't get a clear access to your computer files instantly. So, and it's coming from mesh. I mean, the mesh is now integrated in the SkyDrive in the background. So now it's trying to access. So it sees, you know, if you are authorized or not. If you're not authorized, a message code is sent to you, which you need to put in and say, give access and all the stuff, usual stuff. And it happens every time your session expires. So it's not like one time code, but it's like every time your session expires and all the stuff. So that's how we get started. So once verified, you will get to see all your um, media library, documents, desktop, download folder, and all your drives and files inside now. It's kind of limited access because you cannot do a bulk operation here. But you can always, you know, download single files either directly to your computer from wherever you are accessing, or you can send it to SkyDrive folder. Either way, it's a cool option. So you can just open it, select multiple files, but you cannot do bulk files. So um, selecting multiple files doesn't make sense as of now. But if you have single files, you can always select and download it and upload to SkyDrive or whatever options there. So that's how it goes around. Pretty decent interface. You don't have to depend on any kind of VPN and all those stuff because most of the time when you try to access, it is done for the files. You don't uh, try to do it for web, I mean the application access and all those stuff. So, right, it's a cool feature. Thanks for watching the video and hope you like it. Do share it with your friends.